Hi, in this video, I will share with you how to consume REST API in our system. Alright, so to show you how we can consume REST API in our systems, of course, we will need the REST API to test it out. And for that, I have uh, in front of us, is an open weather map. You can feel free to try it out as well. So this open weather map is a, a free service that you can, um, you know, use by registrations. So you need to register to get the API key. But once you have the API key, you can consume the REST API to find out the weather of a city in a chosen country. Right? Or, or it's the, the, you know, the weather of the city of a particular country. And the details that we get is actually pretty comprehensive and we will see that shortly. Okay, so let's head to the service studio. So in front of us here is a service studio. For those who is not too familiar what is service studio, essentially this is the IDE uh, that we will that you use to build application using our system. Alright. So I have actually created a simple mobile applications. In front of us right now is still pretty much an empty mobile applications there's no screen but i have actually created a block essentially you know a collections of uh, pattern or uh, that we will you know that we will use to test out our rest api uh, later on we'll get into the detail uh, shortly all right let's head to the logic tab this is where the integration to the rest api happens now, if you look at the REST API, when you right-click on the REST API, you'll be given two options here, Expose REST API and Consume REST API. For the purpose of this video, we'll be looking at the Consume REST API. And again, if you click on it, you'll be given two options here, whether you want to add multiple methods. Essentially, you by consuming a Swagger JSON, you can actually do a bulk integration to various API methods, right? But for the purpose of the open meta map integration, it will be just one single method. So we'll be looking on the left hand side over here. Now, if you have register, you should have the API key. And with that, you can also take advantage of the API, which I have actually posted over here. And uh, as uh, well, obviously, typically. Typically, you also need to test and make sure the API integration works. So our system has a built-in soft call, you know, similar to Postman, where you can test out the connectivity. So over here, let's try to put in Jakarta, uh, one of the more well-known city in Indonesia, and click test, right? So now when you click test, you will see if, if everything is okay, you should see as uh, HTTP 1.1200 okay, which basically means everything is okay. And then we can copy to respond body, which basically we accept that uh, the following format. So this is the, the list of information that you will get from the open weather map. And when you click finish, our system will automatically map it into a structure right so you can think it like a class if you if you were to do it in the traditional programming object oriented ways and this is probably one of the you know um the i would say one of the plus point or the one of the the, the beauty of the platform um, this is something that is actually quite simple to do as well in traditional development but you can imagine the sheer amount that uh, work that you need to do by doing the mapping one by one it is actually quite a laborious work and often enough can be quite uh, well I mean not not tricky but I will say you know you know, it could be prone to human errors by spelling mistake and whatnot and sometimes it can be quite annoying to troubleshoot but for us it's all automated these are the functions sorry these are the properties that we can use in our applications so let's head back to the interface and go straight to the weather uh, block, right? Now the block itself is a big topic, uh, worthy of its own video, so I will not get into the details. But we'll be looking at the get current weather. So this is what they call as a data. This is what we call as a data action. So essentially, you know, 
uh, this is the part where we need to call the weather API let's just do so by drag and dropping to the logic flow right and over here you will be asking for the city as the parameters we have that from the block as a parameter so let's just put it in there right and then we will need to do the mapping so that we can display those information on the block right so let's look at the weather icon so let's change that to the weather icon okay so we have the icon over here and do the same for the temperature right now for for this i'll just uncomment it so that we can take advantage of that click done and there we go we have completed the mapping and uh, just just to to go through this uh, quickly so we have the city name we have the icon we have the temperature and we have the description whether it's a raining cloudy hazy and so on and so on all right so we have that uh, block ready to use let's create an empty screen so we can display those information on the screen and let's call it as a home and now we can have it as a right so let, let, let's wait for it to load call it test weather oops okay and let's also drag and drop the weather block in here now if you have a list of information so of course you can pass in as the parameters so the for the information will be dynamic but in the purpose of uh, this video let's just make it a simple one let's call it Jakarta and it's a static one just hard coded and that's pretty much it and let's let's test it out so we click compile um, through the compilations we will be you know basically compiling all these things to the native applications uh, the system will generate the optimized code database script and then deploy it to the server all right in a few seconds we should be able to test it out shortly all right so let's open it up in the browser and here we go we have the information so right now as of 29 april apparently jakarta is uh, having a, a light shower or mist 25.33 degrees celsius okay that's it i hope you enjoyed the video see you next time